Santiago, Chile. And I am on the balcony right now in our hotel. And it's an absolutely beautiful morning. You can see I'm in a, a long coat and boots because it's pretty chilly out. I'm so tired. Our flight got in at like 6 this morning. So excuse me if I look super tired, but I'm so excited. We're here for about two days, so we're gonna make the best of it and get a lot of things done. But this view is absolutely amazing. Are you excited to be here? Beautiful place, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. Come on here. So here's breakfast, and we have strawberries, pineapple, and this is called tuna, but I've never had it before. It's green fruit. So we'll see how good it is. Hi, Dad. Mm. And this is our view for breakfast. ready really quickly and I'm going to stand up here because this is my favorite view <laughs> my lens is a little dirty so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly and I don't like the mirror inside the hotel room so this is where I can see my outfit so I know it's kind of dark basically oh it's buttoned it's buttoned up because I have a top underneath and it shows a little bit of my belly. It's kind of chilly out, but. So I have this olive green, army green blazer. And then on top I have this fur vest and then just my skinny jeans and my boots because it's a little chilly and yeah, so basically all there is to my outfit. Super simple. The makeup is also simple. I just did kind of like matte cream color and a little bit of Nooner in the crease as always for my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And um, didn't wear any foundation just because it's super dry out here and kind of chilly so I didn't, I kind of didn't want to put too much product on my face because I didn't want to dry it out. So I'm just going to show you guys the hotel. Here it is. And we have this balcony. So first we're going to take care of some business. And, <laughs> and then we're going to go to a vineyard. So hopefully, not sure what we're going to do. Really don't have a plan. So we'll see what we do. So see you guys soon. So it is currently autumn here. We're walking towards the vineyard. We are going to have a tour at 1.30. These are probably not the most practical shoes, but whatever, my fur. So it looks like a sheep over there is chilling. And then I think this is the house of the owner of the vineyard. 
¿no? Estimados, eh, ahora estamos por el lado de afuera de la casa del fundador de Viña Conchitoro. El nombre del fundador era Don Melchor o Meuquior Conchitoro y de su apellido viene el nombre de la compañía. Eh, la casa data de 1875 y la viña fue fundada aquí, como estábamos comentando, en el año 1883. Don Melchor Conchitoro, el fundador, fue empresario y también fue político. Ahora estamos en un típico paisaje del campo chileno. Chile tiene muchos valles, cada valle tiene sus propias características para la producción de diferentes parras. Por ejemplo, al fondo hay 68 hectáreas de producción para los Cabernet Sauvignon de la marca Terruño. En cuanto a marcas, una de las mejores marcas de Conchito. So we're here in the middle of the vineyard. This is Chilean wine that they make here, which is imported all across the world and the cool thing about Chile is that they have a Mediterranean climate here so they have four seasons and the temperature varies greatly and there are chickens over there <laughs> I know ADD so we're just hanging out here looking at this beautiful scene and we're gonna go to our first wine tasting so I'm excited about that because I really love wine. So, it's funny, we're in a tour group with Brazilians and Koreans. So, we're really diverse here. And there are the chickens. Look at those mountains. Wine tasting time. Bien amigos, el vino que van a probar ahora es de la marca Marqués de Casa Concha, Uva Sauvignon Blanc, año de cosecha 2014. Un vino producido en el Valle de Leida, denominación de origen Leida. Es un subvalle dentro del Valle de Casa Blanca, uno de los mejores lugares para la producción de vino blanco aquí en Chile. Año de cosecha 2014, un, una cosecha nueva. Y en realidad para los vinos blancos, recomendación, siempre es mejor cosecha nueva. Podría haber sido el mejor del 2005. Pálido, brillante, muy limpio. Es un buen color para un sueño blanco. Ahora sí, Gracias. el francés. Vamos a bajar de vuelta. Vamos a tener la dedicación de vino en este lado. Entonces de vuelta vamos a poder sacar fotos. So right now we're walking into the devil's house and I'm kind of nervous because they say that if you have a bunch of, if you're a huge sinner, then you won't get out alive. So pray for me. <laughs> Inside the devil's house den. This is so creepy. It smells really weird. Bien amigos, ahora estamos en la famosa bodega, adega, del casillero del diablo. They're closing the door on us. No. Apparently the devil's going to come out now. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> okay, okay. Dad? Dad, dad, dad. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Dad, I'm really scared. So, made it out alive. And we're going to drink some more wine.
morning guys so it is Wednesday and we actually leave tonight our flight is tonight around 8 15 so we're just going to go around see a little bit more of the city gonna meet up with my brother for lunch I think so I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm sorry last night this camera died and it's kind of it's, it sucks to film on my phone so I prefer to just film on this camera so and it's kind of cold outside which is why I have this jacket on um, which I'm not minding the weather here at all it's actually the middle it's actually almost winter here so it's pretty it's pretty chilly but I prefer it because we've been in the heat for so long and it's nice to get some nice cool weather so I think we're going to the tallest building in South America right now and it's funny because the next tallest building this the the new tallest building in South America is getting built in Colombia right now we saw that in Bogota um, in March when I went for my birthday so it's kind of funny this one is no longer going to be the tallest building the new tallest building in South America is going to be in Colombia now so it's kind of cool that I'm going to go visit the tallest building in South America right now. And it's only going to be the tallest building for a little bit longer so gotta go see that. We were only here for two days <laughs> so I mean it really wasn't like a vacation. It's nice because this is my first time in Santiago. It's my first time in Chile so I'm very happy that I was able to come and get to know this beautiful beautiful country and I think the city is absolutely beautiful from what I've seen. I mean, two days is not enough. It's not nearly enough to get to know a city, but what I've seen, I've absolutely loved. So I will see you guys in a little bit.
awesome. It's very pretty cute. Reminds me of the <laughs> Coors Light Mountain. Awesome being here with you. Waiting for our flights. This is Carmenere from yesterday's vineyard. So I'm gonna drink some.